Is it time to buy or sell Fisker stock? Today, we're delving deep into Fisker. Our initial report was posted on our website on Monday, March 11, 2024, and now we're here to offer you a more detailed analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Missing out on updates that could impact your investments is something you'd want to avoid. Empower your trading decisions with our recently launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the capabilities of AI to receive free price predictions and in-depth analyses for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please remember that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Since January 2, 2024, our system has identified Fisker as a strong sell candidate, with a score of minus 7.83. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock saw a significant decline of minus 79.03%. On average, this translates to a daily loss of minus 1.65% since being labeled as a strong sell candidate. The stock is currently in a downward trend, presenting a potential buying opportunity if the lower trend floor at $0.289 is breached. Breaking this level could signal a more significant decline. Over the next three months, the stock is forecasted to see a potential minus 68.67% change, with returns ranging between minus 73.52% and minus 48.01%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, there is a projected minus 77.70% change, offering a return between minus 84.80% and 18.91%. This translates to a price range of $0.0520 to $0.406 by the end of the year. Our latest update for Fisker highlights the high volatility in its stock price on Monday, closing at $0.342. The Fisker stock price dropped by minus 9.12% on Monday, March 11, 2024, falling from $0.376 to $0.342. It has declined for eight consecutive days. On the last trading day, the stock price ranged from a low of $0.339 to a high of $0.390, fluctuating by 15.18%. The stock has fallen in eight of the last 10 days, marking a decrease of minus 43.19% during this period. With a volume increase of 11 million shares on the last day, despite lower prices, this could signal a potential risk escalation in the upcoming days. A total of 93 million shares were traded, amounting to approximately $31.90 million. In the past 52 weeks, the stock reached a high of $7.22 and a low of $0.339. Presently, the price is 95.27% lower than the 52-week high, at $6.88, and 98.93% below the all-time high on March 2, 2021, when it reached $31.96. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, February 28, 2024, Goldman Sachs downgraded FSR to a market perform grade. On Tuesday, November 14, 2023, Needham maintained a hold grade for FSR. On Tuesday, November 14, 2023, Raymond James also rated FSR as market perform. On Monday, February 27, 2023, CFRA upgraded FSR to a sell grade. On Wednesday, November 30, 2022, Evercore ISI initiated coverage of FSR with an outperform rating. Analysts have given Fisker stock a general neutral rating. They rate the PE ratio as neutral and price to book as neutral. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock and sell rating. Identified signals for Fisker. Currently, there are minimal positive technical signals for Fisker. Sell signals are dominating from short and long-term moving averages, painting a negative outlook. Additionally, a general sell signal is present due to the long-term average exceeding the short-term average. Resistance may be encountered at $0.409 and $0.684, with potential buy signals upon breaking these levels. 
A sell signal triggered from a pivot top point on Wednesday, February 28, 2024, resulting in a minus 53.37% decline so far. Further decline is anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Moreover, a sell signal is active from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume surged during price drops recently, signaling caution and a need for closer monitoring of the stock. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 9 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 125 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 8 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 100 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 93 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Fisker. Currently, there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level, indicating potential poor performance in the coming days. The stock exhibits high volatility, with a wide prediction range from the Bollinger Band, classifying it as very high risk. In the last day, the stock saw a $0.0514 movement between high and low, equivalent to 15.18%. Over the past week, daily average volatility has been 11.58%. Before discussing potential trading levels for Fisker, let's review some key fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, commonly known as the P-E ratio. This ratio indicates the relationship between a company's current stock price and its earnings per share. A negative P-E ratio suggests that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. While it's normal for established companies to face downturns due to external factors, persistently negative P-E ratios could indicate inadequate profitability and potential risks of bankruptcy. Shifting gears, the upcoming earnings report for Q1 2024 is scheduled for May 14, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at $0.140. It's crucial to monitor these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Let's delve into potential day trading levels for Fisker. If there's an upward trend, the initial resistance level for Fisker stands at $0.376. If you're not already invested, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For current shareholders, this could be a pivotal point for swing trading. With no significant support from accumulated volume below, there's a chance the stock could experience a sharp decline under certain circumstances. Exercise caution and contemplate making trades only if you're a seasoned trader proficient at maneuvering through such scenarios. The combined average rating for Fisker from multiple analyst sources is neutral. Let's delve into some recent insider trades. On January 25, 2024, Salinas Jose Angel made an insider purchase of 933,333 shares of Class A common stock. On January 8, 2024, Salinas Jose Angel made an insider purchase of zero shares. On January 5, 2024, Hicks and Mark E. conducted an insider buy of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, Zuckley Mitchell conducted an insider purchase of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. On January 5, 2024, McDermott William R. made an insider purchase of 7,695 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is positive with a ratio of 19.433. Overall, insiders bought 3,633,852 shares and sold 3,667,872 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Fisker stock a good buy? 
Fisker currently shows several negative signals and is in a downward trend, indicating potential weakness in the coming days or weeks. Our evaluation of this stock is negative. Upon analyzing recent price movements, our system suggests that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to trading on Tuesday, March 12, we anticipate Fisker to open up by $0.0150 and begin trading at $0.357. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you assume responsibility for your own investment outcomes. Presenting our current analysis of the stock. Share your thoughts, do you agree or disagree? Let us know your target price for the stock in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us at Stock Invest.